video for Marcus. Today, we're going to be playing against uh, Sean's Shark Team, so Shark Tentacles, Vet Siren, Angel, Fathom, and Kraken, and I'm using my standard team, Midas, Naja, Vitriol, Catalyst, Crucible, and Mercury. So this is my very first game post 4.1 errata with the new Midas, and so the Fisherman Keys to Victory. They're going for the 3-0 plant. They want that linked activation goal there, that Fathom uh, Angel connection. Two goals on the legendary is critical when you're playing Shark. You need to get that to keep the pressure on the opponent. And you want to own the middle here with Kraken and Vet Siren. So uh, own the middle with Gravity Well and Vet Siren taking care of loose balls there. For the Alchemist, I'm also playing a 3-0 team, but I can default back to a 2-2 if I want. But in a shootout, I really need the first goal of the game to keep the pressure on him. I need to be able to thwart Fathom. Her vectors are crazy. She's one of the better strikers in the game. And then finally, I need to survive the legendary turn, which means keeping... A tabs on momentum, which means keeping takeouts on the board for when uh, he stops my entire team in its tracks. So here we go, Crucible kicking off. I'm um, the kick is going to go wide there, which is great. I'm just going to leave it there. It's actually pretty good for Fathom because uh, she can use that terrain. That's actually nice. Uh, uh, that's, a, that's a good kick as far as he's concerned. The only issue is that he's put them both on the same side, um, which means uh, he's not going to get to pass the ball down the line the way he wanted so it's one thing like if you know who you think wants the ball uh, towards the end of the turn for the goal you kick to that person and kind of screw up their activation order a little bit try to maybe force them to work down the other side but here go here we go with Sean he's gonna go ahead and uh, acrobatics up uh, then he is going to uh, I think he looks like he's gonna try to buy another dodge there to get the ball and uh, he'll stop within one inch of the terrain I, I'm not quite sure if uh, Fathom does that I thought it was more of a I thought he's just gonna take a jog and get it uh, then he is going to go ahead and snap the ball well I'm gonna adjust the camera and he is gonna pass back to Angel pass is successful he's gonna bank a momentum now he's thinking about should I heroic off of that can I heroic off of that? And he's not sure because that would make him a decent snapshot turret. No, it would not, actually, now that he's measuring it out. So probably not worth it. So he'll turn in, uh, turn over to me. I'm just going to jog up ever so slightly with uh, Catalyst, and I'm going to stay within four of Vitriol and Crucible so that I can power them up. I'm playing a little cautious here because Siren hasn't gone. Siren is one of those players that can abuse Catalyst, so you have to watch out for that. Uh, because of his low defense, um, and she can pull him out of position. Uh, unfortunately, Sean has only put one on Siren, so that's not really on the board, but I guess I'm just sort of paranoid of that anyway. So here we go with, uh, it looks like Shark is going to put Quick Foot on Angel and then jog up to uh, cover there towards the bottom of the screen. Uh, now this is Midas time. Midas is going to jog in this tiny little, I found this tiny little spot for his base to fit there on the other side of that uh, obstacle. So he'll just jog to there. And he's now I'm going to do the double lore that everyone's excited for. And when I say everyone, I mean me and like the three other Midas players. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to double lore. So I'm going to lure Snick and Vitriol. This is awesome. So now look at, like, I have got a crazy alpha threat right there. I've got, th I've got two strikers within range, and I have a hypnosis... Uh, prone snack there uh, towards the middle of the ball and that's really where new Midas is going to be awesome is setting up on that first turn and then actually being able to do stuff on the later turns so uh, Sean is trying to figure out vectors with Angel he is going to sprint over the line there and he is going to buy an attack against um, he's going to buy a bonus time attack against uh uh, vitriol and get the, an amazing three results. You can see five, five, six there off three results. Like he could have charged and not gotten that result. Crazy good dice. Unfortunately for him, I countered and for him to even approach the goal, he's got to stay in my counter. So he, so he goes towards where he actually needs to be. I, I roll my counter four dice, needing fives. I tackle the ball back, and that screwed up his goal run because now he can't uh, now he can't uh, super shot goal. 
So he has to tackle the ball back. He goes ahead and does that, tackle dodge. But now it's over, right? Because it's one to sprint. There was the first attack. That was the second attack. And he is not within eight. And he cannot put up super shot. So he puts up, uh, I think he puts up nimble. He puts up, no, he puts up super shot just in case he can, no, no, he didn't, he didn't have enough to do any. He just does another attack and tackles the ball. Okay, I'm going to come in with the snick. I've got a crowd out and cover there, so I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to buy an attack on her. I'm going to do a momentous one damage. Then I'm going to pull that poison right off, and I'm going to do another momentous damage. So, hey, not bad. Two momentum for one influence. You can't, you can't ask for anything better than that on the snick. No one in, no one in range to hypnosis, so no worries. Meanwhile, Kraken's just going to sprint up to, towards the middle of the board there and threaten some positions, and he's going to tag along, um, Tentacles. Now, te Tentacles was supposed to go directly towards him, but I, it makes a little bit of a difference, but not that much. Anyway, I'm looking at Tentacles with one on it, so it can blind. And with Sean's dice being hot, that 5-5-6, five, five, I'm like, man, I might want to think goal, or at least just put something in position to deal with it. So, I'm going to activate Crucible. I'm just going to try to buy that Great Balls of Fire by pulling the poison off of her. It fails. And I actually bonus timed it, it looks like. I was really hoping for a goal run, like an early goal run. doesn't work. I'm going to jog over to Fathom. I'm going to take a couple of attacks on Fathom. So it's four dice against 5-0 or four, five dice against 4-1. I like my four dice against 5-0 because I just want one result. I take a momentous dodge. Uh, and then I think I take another attack. Oh, no, i thinking about acrobatics, maybe. Uh, let's just do another attack that does nothing. And let's do a third attack to do non-momentous one, poison fire on tentacles. Uh, then, uh, then I decide, oh, I see what I did. I dodged into that and took the, yeah. So I'm just like hanging out there. Tentacles is going to take a counter which I don't necessarily agree with. I'm not sure why. Oh, I guess he was worried I would be a snapshot turret, but that's not the best idea because I'm in two melee zones. So there she is, uh, Crucible in two melee zones. I'm going to sprint into Angel with, uh, uh, with Mercury and get two successes. And instead of tackling the ball, I'm just going to actually throw out a Fire Blast. The momentous Fire Blast is great. Tackling the ball is a bad idea because then the ball's dead, and I need my first goal. So I'm just going to put fire and a couple damage on shark and one on crack in there so I can use those conditions later and net myself another momentum. So momentum climb, you can see uh, I'm at like four or five. Sean's at one. He's been buying a lot of stuff with momentum. Um, and so here comes uh, Vet Siren. Looks like she is just going to sprint to the middle of the board there and kind of blockade. That's the idea. Like he's let's jam up the middle with players. Uh, I'm going with uh, vitriol. I decide to push Angel out of cover and keep her in a bunch of crowd outs. I'm going to push Dodge out. Then I'm going to. Uh, then I'm going to. Uh, I think I tackle the ball here. So I'm going to tackle the ball. Then I am going to pull a condition to free sprint into, and I have to I have to stay out of Siren. I have to be in somebody's uh, melee when I kick here, and it's going to be Fathom. So the free sprint is going to take me all the way there next to that other obstacle, uh, and I am just going to go ahead and sprint there. With the ball and I'm gonna go ahead and kick and bonus so three four dies down to three back up to four need to four and we're gonna go ahead and hit that so that was important right first on the board when you're in a shootout you need to be the first guy to score the goal put the other team on the back foot and I'm gonna use that momentum to dodge towards the goal there and the idea here is let's keep a snapshot in place ball is gonna scatter uh, he puts it towards the middle of the field, which a little bit of a dangerous. I would have put it a little bit further towards the bottom of the screen, but it snaps over to Kraken. 
Ah, uh, that's not good. It would have been nicer towards Shark, but now the turn is over. I'm up like 4-1 on momentum. So I have momentum. I have the first goal. This isn't looking too good. I'm going to go ahead and take turn and uh, load up again. So here we go. Three on vitriol. I mean, three on uh, crucible. Uh, three on vitriol. Uh, six on Midas. And I think I actually put only two on vitriol. And then... Uh, I, I give uh, a couple to, it looks like, OCAT. Uh, so the idea here is, actually, I may have loaded up Vitriol anyways. So the idea here is, okay, I think this is going to be the legendary turn. So got to get an, even try for another goal and then, and then just brace for impact, right? So start of the turn, I'm going to pull the fire off of Kraken, Great Balls of Fire with vitriol uh with crucible so that's just that's just insane now now that i have strikers in position and the ball is on a low defensive target now great balls of fire is going to work i'm going to jog into double melee and then acrobatics out because crucible can do that and then just kick a goal there uh well first i need to do an attack i think i attack uh i attack v siren get a momentous dodge get out of both of them and then uh, shoot the goal. And there we go. I'm up 8-0. So very strong uh, setup here by that Midas first turn double lore. Very, very strong pressure on goal. And again, two strikers in position. Two turrets to deal with. And Sean's, uh, Sean's probability to win has gone significantly down. But never count the fish out. Sean's got a plan here. He throws the ball perfectly over to uh to fathom fathom is going to sprint up she's going to uh take a couple of attacks on i believe midas and net a couple more momentum get some dodges and then oh wants to take another attack why not let's let's maybe he's gonna dive into the momentum race here very nice and so he's got a couple of momentum he's in range and he's gonna shoot the goal get a screamer which is fantastic put himself on the board the fish are now at four and eight and he declared linked before this is the nice part so think yukai here pretty soon he declared linked and he put a couple on angel which i think is a mistake if you if that was the plan put four on angel like Forget the one on Tentacles. Forget the one on Kraken. Like, load up Angel. Give yourself a chance here to, to go up 8-all. Or, yeah, which is great. I throw the ball in, knowing Angel is about to go. It's a little bit of a gambit on my part. Snaps The ball snaps to Midas, who has 6 on him, who has unpredictable movement. And Angel is in a bad way, right? She's she's in melee with, um, with Mercury in cover. He... The two people she wants to bounce to both have unpredictable movement. And again, 4-1 in cover with tack 4 is a horrible proposition. This is three dice on 4-1, and she needs to get some dodges to get out of there. Uh, she's going to advance, which is weird. I, uh, I think I wouldn't have even advanced. I would have just tried to get the dodge. Oh, no, I, he, she, he had to advance so that he can push dodge into Midas. So that doesn't look like that's going to happen now. Uh, the dice did I mean, that was poor probability, and she was just in a bad spot. Uh, she just got herself in trouble first turn, and it didn't work out. And so Midas is going to roll up here with six uh, on him. He's going to pull a condition for fulmination in the backfield there somewhere. I think I forgot to physically do it. It was supposed to be off an angel. But anyways, um, charge uh, that siren. Get my uh, momentous push double dodge. And we're going to walk her back a little bit. Here's where Midas is really nice. I didn't need six on him to do this. But pretty fun to be able to do that nowadays. Now it actually works, right? Now the whole, hey, he's a striker thing works. And uh, you put the double conditions down. And you're just you're going to bring her up field, but always... At any point, you can pull out, which is great. Uh, I'm just going to use it to get within snapshot range, kick the goal, 
final score 12-4. Thanks everyone for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.